Archrodontosaurus versus Giganotosaurus. It's the battle you've been waiting for. It's the giant southern lizard versus the sharp-toothed lizard. Carcharodontosaurus lived during the Cenomanian stage of the mid-Cretaceous period, 90 to 100 million years ago, in what is now North Africa. It's currently known to include two species, C. saharicus and C. iguodensis. Giganotosaurus lived in what is now Argentina during the early Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous period, approximately 98 to 97 million years ago. Both dinosaurs are extremely similar in body size and skull shape, but who would win in a fight? Let's find out. First some stats, Giganotosaurus, height at hips, 4 meters, could maybe rise to 6 meters at the head, length, 14 meters, weight, 6 to 8 tons average, larger specimens could be 15 tons, bite force, in previous videos I stated 4.5 tons, but upon additional research I have to revise it down to 1 or 2 tons, it was pretty weak, speed, some scientists claim up to 50 kilometers per hour, which is amazingly fast for such a large dinosaur. Diet. Large dinosaurs like Andesaurus and Limesaurus. Now onto the weapons of Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus was one of the largest theropods ever, even longer than the T-Rex. It had a 1.5 meter skull containing around 60 sharp teeth, which had a knife-like shape and serrated edges, made to pierce tough hide and tear off chunks of flesh. It possessed short arms and three-fingered clawed hands. Now onto the stats of Carcharodontosaurus. Height, 4 meters at hips. Length, 13.3 meters. Weight, 6 to 8 tons average. Larger specimens could be up to 15 tons. Bite force, 1 to 2 tons. Speed, 32 kilometers per hour. Diet, large dinosaurs like Paralatitan and Oranosaurus. Now onto the weapons of Carcharodontosaurus. Let's call him Carcar. Carcar was built very similar to the Giganotosaurus. Carcar possessed enormous jaws and serrated teeth up to 20 centimeters long, but the bite force was weak. The skull length of about 1.6 meters has been restored for C. saharicus, and the skull of C. iguodensis is reported to have been about the same size. Carcar had around 60 teeth, also just like Jigga. Carcar possessed Allosaurus-like arms with three digits. Okay, now onto the advantages of Giganotosaurus. I know I stated both dinosaurs were the same size, but the Giganotosaurus was probably slightly larger on average. The skull of Giganotosaurus was slightly shorter and more compact, which usually translates into a stronger bite force. Giganotosaurus possessed slightly longer and more functional arms. Models suggest that Giganotosaurus could run up to 31.3 miles per hour, about 50.4 kilometers per hour, according to a 2001 article in the journal Acta Paleontologica Polonica. Now onto the disadvantages of Giganotosaurus. It's tough to find disadvantages. It's likely that Giganotosaurus was slightly less agile than Carcar, even though it could run faster. Animation King suggested that it may have less hunting experience, but we can't know for sure. Now onto the advantages of Carcharodontosaurus. While Carcar possessed slightly longer shark-like teeth, Carcar possessed a slightly longer skull, although I can't confirm this would be an advantage. It's possible that Carcar was a little more nippy as an agile. Carcar often battled Spinosaurus, so may have a tad more hunting and fighting experience. Now onto the disadvantages of Carcharodontosaurus, while he was slightly smaller and lighter. Carcar likely possessed a less powerful bite, but only very slightly. Carcar had shorter and less functional arms. Carcar was slower in straight bursts. Okay, let's fight. Giga and Carcar enter a clearing, the body of a dead Andesaurus situated in the center. Both animals circle each other, unsure of when to attack. Carcar decides to go in for the kill, rushing towards Giganotosaurus. Jigga tries to bite and misses. Carcar slashes Jigga's side. Giganotosaurus claws Carcar in the face, blinding one eye. Carcar is unbalanced. Jigga takes the opportunity and bites Carcar's neck. Just as Carcar is about to fall to the ground, he regains his balance and delivers a slashing bite to Giga's neck. Giga is pissed and bites back. Again and again. Verdict. Both dinosaurs are incredibly similar, so making this video was particularly tough, but I have to give the slight edge to Giganotosaurus due to its larger size, more functional arms, and speed. 60% goes to Giganotosaurus, but it would be a very close battle. Very, very close. What would you guys give it? And if you have any ideas for a dinosaur-themed video, please let me know in the comments below, and I might make it. Until next time, thank you for watching Mega Top 10s.